Hey guys, Mike here from Aerofit. With the upcoming launch of our Pro 2.0, we thought it'd be a perfect time to kind of sit down, discuss the upgrades and what we're trying to achieve with this upgrade. And we have some of our technical team here, so if you introduce yourself and tell us how you're involved with the project of the 2.0 and Aerofit in general. Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, my name is Ole, I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, I've been working at Aerofit for two and a half years almost, and I'm assisting Christopher in the design and product development, um, where we do some data testing and analysis uh, and try and optimize the product all the time. Um, I'm Christopher. Um, I have done the uh, design and development, and uh, I'm spending a lot of good hours with uh, Ole in order to um, get to a state of our product where we are as optimal as we, we possibly can get. Has the 2.0 been kind of a long process from the original device or was it kind of a natural progression if you like? I think there is um, a clear line between the two. The two devices have um, the same overall uh, construction. But um, in fact, I would say that the, the new things that we have done is on the inside rather than the outside. So a lot of stuff has uh, been done on, on the inside of the device. And that is where all our attention has uh, and, and work has gone. So if we lift the hood on it, if you like, could you just kind of dig into the changes you made? Definitely. So the first obvious thing that we can look at is the E unit, the electrical unit with the, the sensor uh, inside of it. So we have a more clean design and that is noticeable. Um, yeah. So one thing that we aim to do is to make a much more sturdy uh, unit that um, you can drop on the floor, that is not going to break easily, that you can rinse with um, a cloth and you can uh, get a much better uh, hygiene. Um, so now we have um, an ultrasonically welded um, housing. So it is, uh, yeah, you, you couldn't possibly get this uh, to, to, to break apart uh, unless you really uh, use some tools, some, some heavy tools for it. That is not a challenge, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. A lot of companies talk about like a milestone achievement. Would you say that the progression is quite a milestone for us in the kind of development of the product? Yeah, I would say that um, doing the first, um, the, the, the Pro, the Aerofit Pro was uh, really a, a revolution of uh, the devices that yeah. are available. So doing uh, that taught us a lot and we have a lot of data from uh, users. Uh, Ola and I have done a lot of testing. So it is now we have had time to um, iron out all the imperfections and really do uh, the very best that we can do with this um, uh, construction of, of the product, this design of the product. And with these changes, Ole, I know you're a big user of Aerofit. Do you find any changes within the use of the device? Because I know you have been testing it quite a lot. Yeah, I've been, I've been using it for, for quite a few minutes now. Um, but like Christopher says, we've also changed the inside. We changed the, um, some of the tolerances in the design, making them tighter, making them smaller. Uh, and we also changed the resistance, even though they are marked the same as the old one. Uh, there's actually a difference, so we tried to go uh, as mild as possible, as low resistant as possible on the lowest settings uh, and at the highest settings uh, F6 we try and go as high as possible basically um, and you can definitely feel that um, and then obviously the rest of the resistance we try to just spread out evenly in between those two settings. I know you guys aren't software guys but there's a lot of changes with the software as well. Are you guys happy to discuss that as well? Obviously we are not um, yeah. um, the, the main team for this, but we integrate with those guys. And then I know the lung test itself is changing. So yeah. how would you describe that as a difference and what are the advantages of this? Um, well, the advantage is that now it's divided into three steps. Yes. So instead of the old one, which is everything combined, which sometimes made the user, I don't know, confused, but it was, it was Sometimes you focused on one yeah. parameter more than the other. It maybe you wanted to get a higher VLC or lung capacity, and then you maybe forgot to focus on, on your strength part. So now we divided it out. So it's three separate sessions coming back to back, which gives the user uh, the option to, to be more way more focused on one par parameter at a time. I think that's a huge difference. Um, so yeah, we basically try to, to learn from what the users have been told us throughout the years and using the, the first one, um, to, to try and improve it uh, and it gives better results, more consistent results, uh, which obviously we, we like a lot. And then just with Aerofa in general, I think one really interesting thing is where we came from to where we are now. 
and that actually allowed us to deep dive into some archives we have here. Yeah, so here we have a few of the archives that have made Aerofit what it is today. The original Aerofit itself, as you can tell, not so portable. A bit different to the lovely device that Christopher's holding there. It is. Yes, and that is, on these guys' behalf, an amazing feat of engineering. How we used to operate would have a breathing tube, similar to what we have in Aerofit. And then this device would be filled with water. And as you practice your MIP and MEP, you will be breathing and it would actually manually measure by how much force you can blow water up and pull it down to feel like you're in a hospital rather than training. <laughs> then you could change the resistance settings on the old device as well. Uh, yeah, so we would have to manually change it, right? Exactly, yeah. All of this knowledge has been massaged into the Pro Zoom, so that is um, really great great to see yeah yeah and i think that's one thing that we're really proud of in aerofit is we have learned so much from the past not only the prototype in which you've done the data that comes in from the pro one and other users but we really focus on that bringing it into the development of the pro two so thank you very much for giving us kind of the inside look into the aerofit it's something that we haven't really used too much to show our audience and I think with the launch of the 2.0 is the perfect opportunity to really shine light on guys like yourself who are making this product really amazing and what it is. So on behalf of every Aerofit user in the world, we thank you deeply and we really appreciate what you guys do. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.